So now we have dis discussed the keyframe concept. We can go in and have a look at many different aspects of the animation. So you can, yes, think for yourself and utilize this in order to get what you want. First, we could maybe animate different values besides the location. For example, we could animate the scale. So we are in frame one and the scale value is uh, point one, uh, point zero normally, or at the start at least. We insert the keyframe, go to frame 150 and maybe scale it to 0.4, as you can see here. Insert the next keyframes and the last at frame 300. Then maybe we could make it very small. And now, as you can see, it just shrinks until it's barely visible. But also, as variation, maybe you don't want to shrink it entirely. Then we just go in and maybe in the last few frames, we apply this scale. Or I, I show you something different. We delete these keyframes. So there aren't any more. So the last thing we have, or the last scale value we have, is again 0.4 of these keyframes. Then we go in and at frame 170, we scale it again a bit smaller. And at frame 300, we go again and we scale it again bigger for some reason <laughs> and insert them. So you can see this quite a small proportion, but it will give a bit of variation and an interesting effect, as you can see. So now it get, goes very, very fast into the last scale you defined. Another possibility would be the animation of the rotation. So we duplicate this text and I call it just rotation. And now at frame one, I duplicated the uh, keyframes as well. That's unfortunate. We just delete them so it doesn't change the scale as well. So we only, fo only focus on rotational aspect. And since you can see it will ro rotate outside of the camera if we just rotate by this configuration. But as example it will be enough. So we insert our keyframes again, then we go to frame 150 and then we rotate the entire thing for 90 degrees on the Z axis. Another rotation isn't, isn't really necessary. Z is enough for now. And on frame 100 we want it to rotate again but in the ori original position, so minus 360 degrees and insert another keyframe. So now it will first rotate slowly and then a lot faster till it reaches the end. Now, another thing besides this very simple animation of th those values, you can go in and animate different values, for example. Let's copy this. And also delete the keyframes. We don't want to rotate it. 
name it accordingly material so this is another possibility every object can have a material or needs a material to be rendered properly so we add a material as you can see to the text and we change to the shader editor as you can see you can still in, uh, insert your keyframes as you can see and here is a preview of the whole thing and this is a material node editor i won't go into the details i only i'm going to add another material a sh uh, shader i mean an emission shader that means it glows it's as simple as that i won't really delete that and connect the emission to the surface so it emits white color as you can see i change it a bit up so it's a light green and now you can go in and maybe animate the strength of the emission for example we start at an emission value of 0.2 in the keyframe go frame 150 increase the value to maybe 0.5 insert another keyframe then it didn't do i did do that uh, frame 250 maybe it goes down again to 0.3 it doesn't matter and at last three frame 300 we want the original 0.1 strength so it just glows while the animation is running i hope it displays it in the preview yes it does as you can see it gets a bit brighter and then uh, uh, that is not really good visible um, 150 maybe we should crank the emission up to on the frame 300 oh, it's a bit excessive but it should display it in very a lot better than before let's have a look and as you can see it adds up and corrects every other frame automatically so it finally gets to the high emission value and not only emission is possible but other things as well but that i will show you in the next part that would be a too much for this so yeah i learned this it's a lot to think about because every object can animate it by itself as you can see or everything at once on one object so yeah very powerful